The NTSB on the scene investigating the deadly Amtrak train accident. New revelations of the speed of the train as it derailed, leaving seven dead as of this moment and eight still in critical condition. The NTSB said preliminary data shows the train was traveling faster than 100 miles per hour before it derailed. It just like had started to like roll over and it was just dark um, and you could just like there's just bodies and seats and everything kind of falling around around me. Uh, we continue uh, with uh, the search operation, but there's also a full investigation going on. New dash cam video just released a deadly police shooting in Madison, Wisconsin. That is Officer Matt Kenny entering a house in March. Inside, 19-year-old Tony Robinson. A few moments later, Kenny comes out rapidly firing into the home. All seven bullets hit and killed the unarmed teen. Yesterday, prosecutors said Officer Kenny will not be charged in that confrontation. And a breaking story from North Korea overnight. The country's top defense official has reportedly been executed because he fell asleep during a meeting. South Korea's intelligence agency says the general was also accused of treason for not carrying out leader Kim Jong-un's instructions. This is it for Boston Marathon bomber Jokar Zarnayev. Closing arguments in the penalty part of his trial wrap up today. And then it's up to the jury to make a choice, life in prison or the death penalty. If he gets the death penalty, he'll be able to appeal and appeal and appeal. And at some point, he will never leave their lives. And the group looking to replace Andrew Jackson on the $20 bill with a woman has now chosen a successor. Abolitionist Harriet Tubman won an online vote. The group now hopes the six. 100,000 people who voted will help pressure the president to make the change. In New Zealand today, Prince Harry having a little bit of fun, shouting, making faces. He and some soldiers perform traditional Maori war cry. It's an ancient ritual used in battle to intimidate the enemy. The prince will be in New Zealand for another couple of days.